just in case anyone was coming in, you know, that I didn't want to make them feel late by already starting early. Um, hold on, I forgot to leave my phone down here. Oh, now it's just that. Welcome, uh, welcome to the annual performance of Handel's Messiah, a sepulchral tradition for more, now more than 60 years. Um, our choir tonight is made up of Sepulpa High School st choir students and choir alumni. If you are part of the choir alumni, will you please stand and let us welcome all of our alumni back. Our accompanists this evening are Susie Law on harpsichord and Bruce Wilkin on organ. Bruce is our local superstar. Um, all of our soloists this evening are voice, uh, voice students of Susie Law. Thank you, Susie, for all of the work that you do with our soloists. Really, this, this couldn't happen without her training all of the soloists. So. Um, I, I want to make sure to thank the First Methodist Church, who are always such gracious hosts. Uh, for this event. Specifically, I want to thank Paul, um, who sets up all of our chairs. And by the way, I forgot to tell you at the end, he said, just leave them. He will. So I, I'll forget to tell you that afterwards. So, um, And Trish, who works in admin and gets everything organized, and Sarah, who is running our sound tonight. So thank you to all of them. The church has a nursery available. Um, so I think that is actually, I think this is the first year that they actually have a nursery available. Um, I have no idea where it is. Actually, I forgot to ask that question. Um, for five and under. So if you need to, uh, if you would like to take kids to the nursery, um, that is available. Methodist church people, where is the nursery? Does anybody know where the nursery is? Okay. All right. There's a sign at the hallway. There's also a cry room over here. If you'd like to just take your baby into that room, um, you can still see and hear what's going on. Um, so that is available. Um, please take this time, speaking of sounds that we might want to not have, uh, please take this time to check your phones and make sure that you've turned off alarms and they're on silent because we've worked really hard to create hopefully what you will um, perceive as some beautiful sounds. And so we'd, we'd like to have as little interruptions to that as possible. Um, this is an oratorio, and an oratorio is basically an opera without the set. So we're telling the story, and the story that is being told in this um, oratorio is the story of the Messiah. So you, you can see um, the lyrics to the songs in your program and kind of follow the story. But with an oratorio, all, uh, the applause is held to the end. So we ask that you would hold your applause. You're going to hear some some really great soloists and great things going on, but if you would please hold your applause until the end. The very last song of the oratorio is the Hallelujah Chorus. It is tradition that people stand during the Hallelujah Chorus. The story is that when the King of England first heard the Hallelujah Chorus, he stood, and then everyone had to stand. <laughs> um, but also, you might feel like you need to stand at that point. <laughs> um, so feel free to, because it is, it's an hour away, by the way. That's what I meant by needing to stand. Um, we are really excited. We're just, I'm just grateful that we have this opportunity to do this every year. Um, I think we're about the only school that does, that has this tradition of 60 years, just continuing to learn it. We couldn't learn it if we did, just did it once. Um, but because we pass it on from generation to generation, and every year the next group of kids um, helps teach the new kids coming in, um, it's, a, it's a huge work, and when our kids go to college and say that they've sung the Messiah, usually the college professors are shocked that they, have that, they already have that in their repertoire. Um, so it's, I'm just thankful that we, ha that we have this tradition in our community. Um, at this time, we very proudly present Handel's Messiah.
comfort ye. Comfort ye, my people. Comfort ye. Comfort ye, my people. Saith your God, saith your God, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare, her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned, that her iniquity is pardoned. <clears throat> the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. shall be exalted, shall be exalted, shall be exalted, shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill may bow. The crooked straight and the rough places plain. The crooked straight, the crooked straight. And the rough place is plain. plain. And the rough place is plain. Every body, every shall be exalted. Every valley, every valley shall 
shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill made low. The crooked straight, the crooked straight, the crooked straight, and the raw places plain, and the raw places plain, and the raw places plain. The crooked straight and the rough place is plain
Thus saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Yet once a little while, and I will shake The heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake, and I will shake. All nations, I'll shake the heavens, the earth, the sea, the dry land. All nations, I'll shake. And the desire of all nations shall come. The Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who shall stand when he appeareth? But who may abide, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? And who shall stand? When he appeareth, when he appeareth, for he is like a refiner's fire, for he is like a refiner's fire, who shall stand when he appeareth, for he is like a refiner's fire, for he is like a refiner's fire. And who shall stand when he appeareth, but who may abide the day of his coming. And who shall stand and who shall stand when he appeareth? When 
when he appeareth. For he is like a refiner's fire, like a refiner's fire. And who shall stand when he, when he appeareth? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and who shall stand when he appeareth, when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire. For he is like a refiner's fire.
virgin so shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, get thee up into the high mountain. O thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, Get thee up into the high mountain. Get thee up into the high mountain. Thou that tellest good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God, behold your God, say unto the cities of Judah, behold your God, behold your God, behold your God. Thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, arise, shine, for thy light is come. Arise, 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 shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen, is risen upon thee, is risen, is risen. Upon thee, 
shall cover the earth and grow darkness the people and grow darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. The people that walk it in darkness, that walk it in darkness. The people that walk it, that walk it in darkness have seen a great light, have seen a great light. The people that walk it, that walk it in darkness have seen a great light.
the people that walk it, that walk it in darkness, that walk it in darkness. The people that walk it in darkness have seen a great light, have seen a great light, a great light, have seen a great light. And they that dwell, that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. And they that dwell, that dwell in the land, that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them hath the light shined. And they that dwell, that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them hath the light shined. Upon them hath the light shined.
Shall be, shall be upon his shoulder. 
Rejoice greatly, rejoice, O daughter of Zion. O daughter of Zion, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice.
Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an art, and the tongue of the dumb shall sing. Oh. 
again, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us and being an audience for us each year. Um, we just so appreciate that. Um, there is a reception in the parlor, which I think is just down this hall right here. Um, cookies and punch, and we'd love for you to stay. Thank you so much for coming out and sharing this with us tonight. <laughs>